Hey everybody, how y'all doing today? Hey my peeps, how y'all doing? So hey my peeps, it's about to go down. If you like what you see, stay in chill for a while. Hit the bell, thumbs it up, subscribe to our channel. We're gonna have fun and do this mukbang. Oh, last time I did a little beat with the table. I forgot to do it this time. <laughs> today all we have fried shrimp, fried catfish, and um, Hush, puppy Hush puppies and, and french fries. fries versus baked fish, grilled grill, fish. Or grilled fish, grilled shrimp, french fries, and hush puppies. So. She more of a fried fish. I'm more of a grill type fried person. Girl. Okay. Just see it. Okay, let's get a thumbnail. Okay. Oh wait, our shoes are different. <sighs> So we got them on the wrong side of the feet. It ain't gonna match up because they're on the wrong side of the feet. That's okay. I mean, I, I didn't want it backwards. Alrighty. Say grace. Thank you, dear Father, for the food you've given us. In Jesus' name, we are truly thankful. Amen. Let me tell about your homemade. Um, what you call that? Oh, um, this is homemade tartar sauce. Tartar sauce. Just, I know, the tartar sauce that you eat, eat her, cause that shit's pretty good. I'm not saying cause I'm eating it, just that shit's pretty good. And then we have some, just out the can, beans, ranch style beans. With jalapeno, right? Yeah, jalapenos. <coughs> yup, so we're gonna get it in, y'all. It's kinda late. Had a long day. About what, about 10? Yeah. That's these homemade fries. What I did was, I actually cut them up yesterday, pat dried them, in, and froze them. Mm. So they cook up better to me when they in the air fryer, frozen, and supposed to you cut them and throw them straight in there. But I will say this store bought fries seem to cook up a little better. They do. In the fryer, so I don't know. Yeah. Definitely cook up to me a lot better. Well, it's a, work, it's a work in progress with me. Oh, exactly. Every day I get better and better cooking with the air fryer. Really quick, I just want to say to everybody that's new to our channel, thank you for coming. We appreciate it. Be sure and subscribe. Thumbs it up. Like, comment, and share. We'd appreciate it. And to all of our day ones, we appreciate y'all coming back. So we'd appreciate y'all liking it. Thumbs it up the video. Let us know y'all like what we're doing tell us if you don't like what we're doing y'all just give us some feedback i just wanted to say that really quick before i dig off in here because it's a heavy dip meal and i mean i feel like talking at the very end especially being fried yes <laughs> um i really don't have much of a topic today but i just want to hit on this really quick maybe somebody out there can help me when we record just started doing this everything i record flips like i'm actually sitting opposite probably of what this is going to Sure. Show. Sure. Yeah, I've been doing it. So it's yeah, something it's just the last two videos we made. Yeah, it's something that didn't, when I uh, play it and upload it, we're flip seats. And I've looked through my whole Samsung Note 9 and I can't find a reason for why. Mmm, -hmm. good, man. That's really good. It's a little hotter. Uh, a little hotter. What was it, fish? No, my shrimp. Oh. It was warm, but I thought. I had stuff I was running around doing. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's in my it taste, I had it spicy. Fire. Hot. Um, it's spicy enough. I just didn't get to it in time. You don't want any beans? Mm-mm. No, I think I passed on the beans today. <laughs> my nose are right right now. So. You gonna have any tissue? Mm -mm. You have to wipe our hands on. Mmm. That's hot. Oh. Spicy. I actually I didn't even burn my fish. I overcooked it just top the tab. I was actually cooking it outside on the grill. Oh did you? Yeah, my you say wow. Oh, that's why the little specks are. Yeah. Chunks are missing. I thought you just got hungry and took a bite before, before we started. Well, she was in the back getting mm -hmm. ready. So I 
I'll cook the fried fish. While we're cooking the fried fish, I will cook the grilled fish. Then I cook the hush puppies, french fries, and then I think I get my shrimp, real shrimp last. Did you roll that anything? Roll what? The hush puppies. That's the batter you made. Why? Wow. That's good. With me, because working at a restaurant, I always so I could put a little flour with the hush puppy. Cause I like to make them look round. Like, I mean, I try. Huh? They're bones in this. It was. I think I shit. I think I cut them out. They look scared. That was some pieces on the side was. Mm. Mm. I felt felt the round because I ain't feel them. Plus I split it out of half to let it cook up better. So. Mm, that's okay. Mm. <laughs> so of all, it's a pretty good dish. Very good. Because I cook the entire meal, she do the dishes tonight. I did them before dinner, so why wouldn't I? Actually, I've been cooking and doing dishes at the same time. Yeah, there's not that much. Though. Keep from the pile up. So good, you guys. Yeah. Yeah. JJ. Really now? Oh. Okay. I know I do that a lot when I'm drinking my tea. I make mean, completely out of the camera. You know what? She get that. Do you got this on cover? Um, what you call it? Panorama zoom, but it kind of wise everything. I'm lucky to have it on right now because it's doing some crazy wonky stuff. Mm. My shrimp. Do you grill shrimp? That mm. guy that grill. It's all fuzzy. Copy. Probably got it. Got you close. Yeah. That's good. <clears throat> mm. Yeah, actually, I've been real stuffed up today. So I don't know if I'm getting sick or not. It could just be the pollen being. Is this spring yet? Mm -hmm. That'll be spring, right? I'm going to try to jump right now. Yeah. It's full time summer. The summer already? Mm -hmm. Oh, well. Pollen in the air and stuff like that. It's still actually kind of. Yeah, time for us. For a summer on the lake, so. <laughs> Is it summer yet? We retired. We we just lost all track of everything. Well, in Texas, it's hard to tell. I mean, I'm not really going by the month. I'm going by the way it feel. And with Texas. Yeah, because it's really. It can be winter. I feel like it's. That's how she goes. <laughs> a spring or fall, so. In certain areas, anyway, I'm, I can always speak on this area. And of course, I have my unsweet tea. This orange, not orange drink. What is this? Some kind of VA. Vitamin VA. Orange VA. Orange drink. Don't be so hot. Tropical punch or something. Yeah. The fish kind of spicy. I guess that corn, the cornmeal was spicy. Both of them spicy. I ain't putting no sloppy in my mouth. Um, I put jalapeno on it. I mean, cayenne pepper. Cayenne. Uh, mm. A piece of fried? A piece of who? A fried fish? I try a piece. A small, small one over there. You have the rest of this one? Yeah, I'll put that one. Right fish cook up yeah okay. I'm just leery of bones oh yeah yeah this is straight out the from the back back part of our house fresh catch thank you Jimmy what, what he gave him in the refrigerator too mm -hmm. Bill, I don't know. I'm gonna show it to him for the video away.
Mm. And I think he gave us a big tail. I hadn't really looked at it because they got it and put it in the refrigerator. The freezer already, so. It's big. Yeah, let me wait till I'm done because I don't like the way it smells. Smell like fish? I don't like the way it smells until it's cooked. I'm weird like that. Jay just smelled this. That's shrimp. Our little chihuahua. Y'all, she loves seafood. She'll smell shrimp or half shrimp and she'll, she'll, if we give her a piece, she'll rub all over it, her whole body, before she eats it. The first time we ever gave our crawfish, you know, crawfish had a little juice with it. But I gave her a piece. There she is. She gets it, and she don't eat it. She's do all that, and I'm like, now you're going to need a bag before you get out around me with all that. Mm. What you doing in that kitchen? Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to try to fish and stuff. No, I'm Saying that I don't eat fried fish, I'm not a big fried fish eater. I love everything fried, unfortunately. You said mm -hmm. what? I love everything fried. Um, but I like grill. I like grill I'm, shrimp. I'm more of a grill person. My shrimp, I could do grill. I haven't had fried shrimp in a while. Oh, we went to the catfish king. Yeah. Because most of the time we don't even fry. I don't fry when I cook it at the house. Yeah, we usually just grill it. But since he was frying today, I said, hook a girl up. Mmm. <clears throat> that was so hot. You hot? Oh, that's hot. I can't really say much on this. I guess I ain't got too much to say. Yeah, sometimes it just be like that. We'll just be sad. Just eating and not saying too much nothing today. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna get full. Mm hmm. Hmm. I try one of the grilled ones. I mean, fried ones. See what they taste like. The first hush puppy I put in there last year too big. That's why I made it much smaller. They were cooking on the outside and cooking on the inside. Oh, inside. Probably had to grease yeah. up too high. Yeah. And we got a fryer. But when we moved, we misplaced the plug. So <laughs> I mean, we had to figure everything old school style in the iron cast, cast skillet. iron skillet. Yeah. And y'all, when I move, I pack everything to where I can find everything. But this wasn't a typical move. This was right when my mom passed away. So I just don't tell them where it's at. But we do know one thing. It's here. <laughs> Somewhere. I think we're probably just going to get the model pack. number and go buy another one. Order another one. No, it's in that store. It's in that room. We just haven't unpacked everything. Yeah, stuff just got put here, put there, and now stuff everywhere. Well, that's because you need a lot of mom's stuff too. Yeah. But, how was y'all's day? Y'all, I cannot wait to get my hair cut. It's too long to hang him. I don't know how I could. <laughs> no. 
I've seen it done. <laughs> yeah, and I've stayed at a Hilton or whatever it is too. What? Um, um, Holiday Inn. Holiday Inn. You know, you take a column, kind of drag that. Yeah, I've seen it done. I'm gonna let him practice on his first. This won't be the end result, so that's what you're trying to say. I won't cut your ball unless I just totally mess up. You won't cut me at all. <laughs> we used to have a Pomeranian that <laughs> our mom had gave us. <laughs> Anybody who knows what kind of dog it is, like, um, you want to scrap a Pomeranian? Right here. Fluffy. I'm like a collie, a, a, a small version of a collie. Fluffy. Yeah, it got a lot of hair. Well, yeah, we can tell y'all stories, but this poor dog, Romeo, was they dead. needed our, it needed a haircut. Um, so I heard a mom trying to tell me where you can do this, how you cut it, and this is what they do when they take it to the um groomer. So we, I had some donkey clippers. I don't know why. Sh shears. No, I think I went and bought some for her, for Romeo. That was the dog named Romeo. Anyway, I said, well, I think I can do it. I mean, we're still not seeing it. My niece has it. Well, it ain't one out my father. He he didn't cooperate either. I guess because he knew I didn't know what I was doing, or he knew he can just show out and I wanted, he wanted to get in trouble. I was terrified, y'all. <laughs> anyway, I'm trying to cut it, and it, I couldn't. But this poor dog was like. <laughs> the main I wouldn't go I wouldn't go walking him no more. I mean he, I wouldn't walk him around the neighborhood, but he can run around the His backyard. Butt hair, it looked like it had mange in the butt. Hair was out on the side. Then it was shaving. Romeo would just sit there and he had this really funny he would do like this. I'll make an ugly yeah. face on yeah. That's how he looked already, so he'd be sitting there and you just like if you looked at all you'd be like Ooh. And then afterwards they told me, Oh well you should have tried to cut it and make him look like a lion. That's where a lot of them get him cut because he got a big furry head. He acted like he knew what he was doing. He was so excited about shaving. I thought he must have researched this. Mr. Google researched it. Yeah, that poor dog. And they wouldn't hold him still, so he didn't. He, didn't, he was hard head, so <laughs> he was a brat. And I say, well, hell, he like it. He go out walking. He he got to run right back yard. My so. um, my sister has the uh, sister brother. S brother. The brother to Romeo. It's a little bit smaller than Romeo, but uh, we uh, moved and the kids were growing up and moving out of the house and we were getting stuck with all the animals. And it was just a lot because we were both working. So my niece was like, because the kids went to stay with her yeah. over the summer and my niece was like, I just love this dog. I want to keep it. And it was so hard, but, the, but Romeo got so attached to Kim. Yeah. And... Cause we were working so much so he got so attached to kim so kim ended up and she still has the dog to this day and my mom my sister and her live right next door to each other and so the brother and sister the dogs get to see each other so it's all a happy ending and when i went over her um niece house and i saw what he's supposed to have been cut i guess somebody <laughs> took him to the groom whatever my, my mom took him to the groom and then he know he walking around like this, like he's, some, stuff. like he's some kind of king around the house. I said, "Oh, you think you good, good, yeah?" But yeah, Romeo. He was a character, though. Gosh, you say he was like he's dead. Well, I mean, he <laughs> he not with us now, yeah. so that's what I mean by was. Yeah, he was a little shit. That's for sure. We uh, when we sold our house, we moved to a townhouse. Yo, I don't know what we were thinking. We put the bed. Oh. <laughs> we didn't even put our head headboard up yet. We just moved in. I, we had a tanning salon, so we were never home. So we just put the bed in there. And we had a little back area that was gated in. It was a townhome. And the maintenance guy, whatever, the, people came in to mow the yard back there. This dog, y'all. Well, we didn't have the blinds up. We had the blinds down. So, you know, you don't well, want to put no, you, the Oh, yeah, they were just up. You mean like up. They were just, yeah. they were drawn. They weren't drawn up. And we hadn't put curtains up, so it was just the blinds in the window. Y'all, when we got back home, <laughs> the blinds, just like, they were like a big hole in them a like this. A massacre of the blinds. Just where he had been sitting I there looking through there. I said, well, there's something positive right here. And I was like, oh my God, really, Romeo? He he chewed those and up. I was so bad about it. It was, it was funny, but it wasn't funny because we knew we were going to pay for that. He, if those people, maybe the guy had came in that house, 
He ain't went and done nothing. But he in the closet. Shook to death. <laughs> but yet, while really? he was acting that one, he was so adamant that he had to give him. Mm-hmm. I mean, when I say, I, you know how you, when you walk into something, you see something like the kid being broke, something, you just, like, oh, like, how did this happen? That's what we look at the blind, like, are you serious? It's like he sat there for the whole day. And it wasn't, I left, I would go to the hang at 8 o'clock. I guess he was biting, but almost like somebody just took their hands and just cranking the blinds up. I guess All was, in a big circle. I guess, I he, guess was he was biting. sticking his hands through it. Yeah. He's no, we, we left, we shut the door. He wasn't going back it down. <laughs> we, they, actually, we, we fixed it so the bed wasn't right there because the headboard was going to go over the window. Okay, that was, yeah, it was crazy. But it hadn't got done yet. But y'all, and, and the maintenance guys didn't leave us a note. They didn't say nothing. They just, they were... Anyway, I'm not going to say they, they didn't speak English, so they were like, what, many like, what, no. I was like, yeah, you let my dog just tear up everything when you were mowing. <laughs> it wasn't their fault. Let's about Romeo. Ooh. <laughs> well. <laughs> you going to put our dog on blast like that? We ain't got a cable box. Oh, we, I thought you were going to say that. We had a cable box down, so we had just got it. Well, the TV's here, and the TV sits here, and then there was like a, a, a space at the bottom where you put stuff. Oh, we had an arm to call it. The stand, TV stand. Go ahead. Well, like I say, everything working good, whatever. And he goes outside. But we're never home, but, but we, we would take him. home. Because we have the tennis salon. Because when I get up in the morning, I would let him run around the backyard. Take care of you know, And then you. I would go and come back. He would be come home just a few hours after I left to go from work, TDC. And he would be there with him. And then when he went to a second job, then I would be coming home not too long after that, closing up the tennis salon. No, I don't even think you were. Basically, we were never home. We were we were hit and miss. Yeah, hit and miss. Then we, we were home enough that he was getting taken out. He was not being neglected. We were taking him out because we had the other animals too, and they weren't doing this. Romeo was just pissed, literally. <laughs> well, we uh, I came home trying to work cable box whatever. It wouldn't turn on. I'm looking at her. I say, God, no, we just paid the cable bill. She said, Yo, we paid the cable bill. So I'm saying, but they ain't working. Messing with my TV, made for my TV, messing with it. We didn't know until the cable guy got there. I called him. No. Oh, yeah, he's gonna clean. Yeah. Well, I get the idea, I'm gonna pick up the cable box to mess with it. And the, the damn thing is wet. I say, I said, man, one of these kids just spilled some drink on this um, thing. Um, the cable. Cable shit. Kids ain't been here. Um, they got with their grandma. I said, this, this dog just peed on his damn cable box. <laughs> I said, but I don't think they check it. She said, we're going to come until they just stop working. So what we do is... I said, well, hell, I need to clean it up first. <laughs> I mean, they ain't going to like when I return it. They're going to actually open it up and check it. <laughs> they just going to say, get your new cable box. Because right, we, we had just got this cable box. I mean, what, three weeks, four weeks? <laughs> And the woman, when we would turn it back in, and I said, yeah, sometimes they do that. And we said, yeah, I guess they do. I mean. But what, what happened was, is when the cable guy yeah. came over, um, he came in, and he had to leave. So I'm stuck face-to-face with the cable guy. And I'm just kind of like, God, please don't. No, this puppy didn't pee all over these people. Please. I mean, because the house doesn't smell like urine or anything. Don't get me wrong. I said, I, that was his own one time. I think he was pissed. I think he was pissed because he, he hit the box right on the nail. So, I'm thinking, oh my God. So, he gets the box. I'm thinking. And he's sitting there looking like this. Like, but the guy has <laughs> got the box. I'm thinking, can he smell it? He's laughing. He's joking. He turns and he goes, yeah, they, they're so, they get, they break so easy. Blah, 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 blah. He walks out the door. We put the box on top up here. Um, oh, yeah. Romeo would walk by and look at it. He looked up at the box. I'm not taking that chance no more. I think he knew what he was doing because he looked up at the box. Looked at it. Never happened again. Never did anything. I think he might have been pissed off because we got, got on him about the mud. <laughs> no, he got in trouble. He got put out of the room for the blinds for a little while. Yeah, I mean, it's all over them people came by. Yeah, because he never peed anywhere in the house. I mean, he would be sitting at the door waiting when I came home. Yeah, he, I mean, he, he constantly. Because I didn't want to put him in a kennel. I don't like kenneling my dogs. If you do, that's fine. That's great. I, I just don't because our dogs yeah. were trained. Yeah, they would wait. He would, I mean, yeah. So. And as soon as we got home, boy, we'd open the door and he would. He ready to go. He'd shoot out the back door and stay out there for a while. He wasn't trying to hit that, that, that day, though. He was like, nah. I can't come in this room. No TV for y'all. 
messed it up. And we didn't have TV that day yeah, either. Yeah, we had to wait. wait to we had to go. wait. But yeah. Never did it again. Never had a problem with it. I don't know what he was doing. Teaching us a lesson. I'm going to tell you a story about the ferret. Y'all, you told the kids already, right? About the ferret? You know, told the kids about the ferret? Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. yeah go ahead. Well, we were staying in town, another town home. We were Before we bought our home. Before we had our house built. We had a ferret that her mama gave her as a baby, so we didn't erase them. No, that's not how we got it. How we get the ferret? We got it from Spalco. Oh, okay. Yeah, because she had, well, mm-hmm. your mom knew somebody who had ferret. Yeah, my mom that's had That's who you talked to about yeah. getting a ferret. Mm-hmm. We know we had a ferret. Slinky. The kids had, what do you call Hamsters or gerbils? Hamsters. They had hamsters. They, they have them. Hey, hey. I like a whole lot of them. And I've been told, and they told me you got to keep the hampers separated because they, they make a whole lot of babies. Because they had about five, but they had one that was bigger than all the other ones. It had a white bug and had a black, I like a ring around it. He thought he was, the big, he was the big bad one in the group. Well. Now and, remember, we lived in a townhome. We were having our house built. So we're living in a townhome, upstairs, downstairs. And we knew. Kids were, it's summertime, so kids went back over to Grandma's house, so they weren't there. We were stuck taking care of them. And we knew he could, um, the, the big hamster somehow used to could raise the roof off their um, cage. Cage, if they ain't had it on top of it. Well, we sitting in the living room. We had no other animals. This is before we had any animals. Yeah, we had, no we had none of our pets. I think it's hard to keep a, um, what you call that? Fair Fair. with other animals, because they had that them or something. Yeah, this was like a good 14 years ago. Well, we sitting in the living room one day, watching TV. I'm t- actually, I'm going to tell you, get two good stories out about that hamsters. You know what the last one's going to be. And we're watching a power scary movie. We're watching a lot of scary movies. And I see this. It was white. I see the thing going across like this. And she always told me, do not let them have that fair get around them hamsters. Because he's going to ki- eat them and kill them like, it's like a toy to him. So I see something doing this. At the corner of our eye. And we look. And I don't know if y'all ever seen the movie thing. I mean, I watched the movie all the time. She said I watched it too much. And they got a little scene where the, word for the guy head comes off and the legs come out of his head and go walking across the floor. It's like a big old spider. <laughs> so me and her kind of look. We do like this. She said, that, that damn hamster. <laughs> <laughs> just goes across the floor, scurries across see, the she, floor. I, she said, I said, yeah. She said, what damn fair it is? <laughs> I said, well, yeah. Apparently he ain't in here. He ain't re- act, reacted to it yet. So I, I had to run around the um, hamster real quick, put him in Then he tried to fight, because the hamster used to do like this, like he wanted to fight. I said, all right, I'll let your little ass get ate up. <laughs> well, I ended up getting him, put him in the cage. And this was the kid's fault, because they didn't put the cage on the thing. Well, anyway. And left and went on a vacation with their grandma. They left and went on a vacation with their um, grandma. Well, the hamster, are now, they're now alone, because we went somewhere, too. Well. They weren't alone for a long time. They didn't have to be with that. that <laughs> Ferret. But we came home. Cause we didn't go out of town. No, we, we probably out went for the to night. Work. We, we probably just went no, to work. No, we went out that night. Oh. We went to the club. When we came home, and when we get home, we all would check on the ferret, go check on the kids' um, hamster. Well, I went up there. I said, "Hey, big dad, when we got out." She said, "Oh my God, we're here, we're here. We gotta find for the house find So we went to look at the, look at the route. I say, well, we 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 can slow down on the search. <laughs> she said, what? I think I think that's him in the corner. I, it looked like a chewed up toy. <sighs> and uh, you, <laughs> I, guess, I didn't look I, at it, so I don't want to even hear what I happened. Mean, I, I, it ain't funny because you know. All I remember I, is the I, eyes. It's a live guy too, but the hamster was like this because Bible could he was like this. I said, well, damn, he, if he'd have ran, and st- instead of trying to fight, he'd have made it. I said, apparently, he tried to fight one of the last time, and became somebody a chew toy. It was horrible, y'all. I cried well, the whole night. I don't know why I just didn't take him to the golf and throw him out. He was like a dummy. <laughs> he was trying to get it out of my sight. He was yeah, trying to console me because I was freaking out. So I, I had to tell my kids. Then I had to see it when I was here and when I was here, and I'm freaking out. I'm trying. I want to just beat this ferret, but it's not the ferret's fault. So I got all kind of emotions going on. So I grabbed the house. I said, I'm just going to flush him. She said, yeah, flush him. Get rid of him. So I flushed him. And we were real friend. We were real good friend with the, um, what you call it? Apartment manager. The apartment manager. Well, two days later, 
We I, see. No. Oh, that is insane. <laughs> I hope she don't. <laughs> Two days later, we are. We Donna, see, we love you if you see this. We see a hospital uh, water company downtown. They got everybody water shut off. They work. So we like. What the hell going on? Kids are back. Yeah. Well, we, we, that's a whole nother story. Yeah. Kids are back at the pool. Uh, oh, okay. So they, then we like, don't know what's going on. Well, you got to tell them. We're all at the pool. Yeah, yeah. Kids are all at the pool. Donna's coming over there and she's like, would you believe? And we're all sitting here. Well, like, she, we asked her what's going on. Yeah, because yeah, we're all at the yeah. pool. Cause they say, would you believe what somebody did? And we like, no, nah, because at this point, what I had no idea. We all know now. Said, what, what, what? what <laughs> Somebody flushed a damn gerbil down at uh, the Kamala. We like, what? <laughs> and she say, the damn <laughs> thing or this be when they pulled it out. I said, are you kidding me? <laughs> and I'm saying, are you kidding me? Because my mom, I'm saying, I know water would make you swim. But that damn bitch, <laughs> she said, this damn, this damn thing. And I almost said, well, hey, you this one when I flushed it. <laughs> but believe me, we kept that to it ourselves. Hopefully she ain't watching it because she gonna say them damn nuts. Yeah, and, and the kids was all in the pool and they're like, what happened, mama? What happened, mama? I'm like, go go play. Get out of grown folks' business. You know, go, go. And so I'm kind of moving Donna away from the pool. I see, why, like, why I got flush, mom? Why I got flush? I'm, I'm like, flush. nothing. I, I told mom, I said, I think it's, oh. it's, it's, it's female stuff. <laughs> nothing, you know? And, and also, let's learn to not flush. Do uh, not flush a fair, I mean, a, a gerber, hamster, hamster, gerber, mice, anything. Because they well and they will clock the pipes <laughs> and they come I'm pretty sure they cost that apartment couple with some money and the kids now here we go back to this the kids got home they're like mom mom I ain't mean, no freaking we told me got away the name of the damn thing they named them all it one thing warm called big dad or something yes and mom where they where's it at where's it and I was like you know what let's go look for them so we're looking around the house I'm feeling like a shit because I know where it's at and I'm telling the kids let's find it let's find it I couldn't tell them, oh, yeah, the fair ate because then so they'd be looking at the I said, well, you, I said, damn, the cage open. I said, I told y'all to put some on that cage. Y'all must have left that, the cage up, but he didn't got out and we ran out the house. We swapped it around on them and made them think that I they... I said, he didn't got out and <laughs> ran really out the house. Which they really did. Yeah, because that's how he got out in the first place. So we told him probably the door was probably left open and he ran outside. Now he's a field mice somewhere, or field rat. So the yeah, they're living, yeah. No, the, get, the, 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 the rat. The germ? The ger whatever it was. That's what you told him? Yeah. Oh, okay, you told him. I told him it probably got out now. It's living out. Hey, he hamster in heaven. That's what you went. The hamster heaven. Yes. Fuzzing up. Yeah, but. <laughs> I, I, it was fuzzing. I was trying to get it to quit. But yeah, and to this day. I don't know why he's doing that. You need to take your camera to the Samsung Geeks at Best Buy. No, we just need to buy a camera. No, I mean, take your phone to Best Buy the Geeks. Yeah, see, yeah, see they can fix everything on the phone. So, <clears throat> anyway, to this day, I, we never did tell you, them. You told them eventually. No, I didn't. I never told them that part. I just said it died. Oh. I didn't tell them the whole thing. You didn't board. tell them that what? Why? It, it didn't just die. It was killed. No. That's the difference between dying. It, it was killed. No, they're 26, 21, and 20, and 18. No. And I said, what, is, what has he been doing with? She said, what I told him he was going to do with it. it. It's a toy to him. Chewed it up, mauled But the the... Um, hamster right by the dresser, which the fair king squeezed into a lot of tight spots, but he couldn't squeeze in that tight spot. It would took with him in tight. And all that hamster had to do was run in there and wait. He wanted to fight. It was but a big it, bad. He, he, thought he, was bad. he wanted to fight, but that was the wrong So fight. what we did is we decided after we were going to move into our house, I thought, I, this ferret like ripped up the bathroom carpet right there on the, and I thought, I had no animals at the time. I thought, no. I, I do not want, no. This is not going in my brand new house that we're having built from the floor up. No ma'am, no sir. So, my mom told me, she goes, I have this lady who has, like, a ferret form, basically. It's not really a form, but she had, like, several ferrets. She liked ferrets. And the she whole part of the house. It built for ferrets. On the outside was a closed in, almost like Cajun. Uh, it was a built-on, add-on room with, with windows, big windows that you could see out. It, it was just, like, tree limbs and tree. It looked like you walk into a tropical forest in her, in that one area. So, she took it and took Unless it's passed on to this day. No, they don't live that long. Yeah, I'm just saying. That's where it went. Yeah, and it was fair with heaven. Cause it was, it had we all couldn't. Yeah, cousins we, and uncles and brothers. We and couldn't take that. care of it. Uh, we were both working. We were still we young. Take we take care of it. We were working I, a time well, party when the kids weren't there. So. Keeping a cage. And like I say, we're never there. 
Yeah, I did. Want, it wasn't a caged out. animal. He ripped, he ripped up the carpet, and you got paid for that. And I and he would chew on wood, and I was like, I don't want, I don't want this going into my brand new home. I mean, brand new home, so. We gave it away and then got in the house and ended up getting two dogs, two cats. Well, two dogs, a cat, a squirrel. Yeah. Another dog. Yeah. We had all and the kids dogs. And the kids never well, watched. All I ever asked for was one big American boy dog. No, I don't want no animals. I don't want no animals. I said it, it would protect the house at the same time. No, we would not get no animals. But Wait. we ended up with five. That's not it. I said yes. We ran. We we got Duchess, the main woman that we had. And as far as before we had Duchess, I know, but we didn't really plan on getting Duchess. Duchess is kind of like picked us and plopped in our lap. Yeah. Well, we're about the rest of them. They kept plopping, had plopping, had plopping. <laughs> so we're probably gonna close this out before he goes and starts getting on to me about not getting his American English bulldog or whatever it was. And he only wanted one because, well, he wanted one for many reasons, but we saw one, and his name was Porkchop. Uh, Porkchop our... was a bulldog. Oh, well, that's what I like. I want, oh, Ameri- all that I want an American bulldog. They get big, taller, you know. And we would take our kids to the baseball park, and my mom would be here, I would be with one, and my husband would be with one kid because the games were all at the same time. And there was this one dog, his name was Porkchop. And it was just like, ooh. It was a baby, but it was just like, just fat. Our little puppy, no bigger than this. And this dog's about this she big. She went up to it, though. Yeah, she went up to it. Like she was like, hey, what's up? I'm going to fight you. And just went, rrr, rrr, rrr. And I then I looked at her and I said, well, I hope you ain't too attached to your dog. <laughs> <laughs> she's always done that, though. you about to lose her. <laughs> she thinks she's bad. Let's go ahead and close this out yeah, in case yeah. it cuts us off. Yeah, you guys, thank y'all for um, coming and having dinner with us and doing this mukbang. And like I said, if you're new, thank you for coming to our channel. Please subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you'll get all of our uh, videos that we upload. And like. Like or dislike and let us know. Leave us a comment. And to all of our day ones, we love you guys. Leave us a a message. Um, Let us know what's going on. And uh, tell us if you want us to do anything. Anyway, my mind was somewhere else. I was was still still going to say something, but it happens when you get old. Anyway, yeah, I have a good night. Anyway, guys, let me find my little pen so I can say peace out. <laughs> peace out, my peeps. We'll talk to y'all later. I ain't stop. You hit it like it did something, but I see the numbers still rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. <laughs>